So here, my friend Neil is actually asking me whether or not I could like uh, do some cat fitting when he's uh, going to a concert. So, for sure, why not? Like, so I can do a smart reply, and then I want to be funny, so I want to send him like a, a funny picture as well. So I'm just going to use like the overlay to do that. So let's say, create, whoops, a picture of a cat playing the guitar. Alright, so let's do that. And let's see what I get. <laughs> so now like I'm gonna get like a couple of images so depending on which one you like I can actually like send that to my friend so those images are being generated it's taking a little bit of time here we go so this one is pretty cool actually so now what you can do is you can actually like grab the image and you can drop it and so we're gonna have that on top of like a couple of apps so we're gonna have images app we can have Google Docs, we can have Gmail as well being compatible. And really what you can do is to like more directly interact with the capabilities that you have within Gemini. And also expanding it and like making it like somewhat like more embedded with the OS. So now let's assume like I'm watching this video and I've watched it already, right? So I kind of know what I want to get out of it. But I don't necessarily remember where to go, what to do and so on. I can actually use my Gemini already. The Gemini over there understands what I'm triggering on top of, and here it understands what I'm triggering on top of YouTube, and so it offers me to ask questions about the video. So within that video, there is an exercise, which is the plank exercise, which when I do it each and every time I research. So I can actually ask Gemini to help me like see if there is an alternative. So how oh, can I modify the plank exercise? If my views and so here I'm actually asking Gemini to contextualize the answer with the information we have as part of the video. And so Gemini goes through it and actually gives me an answer. So indeed, the instructor actually acknowledges that this can work and offers some modification. You can do that with like any type of videos over YouTube, like uh, so you can basically get to do things faster. The last thing we're doing now is also with PDF. So same experience, you've received a PDF, whether it's like appliances or orders, you can now trigger Gemini and you proactively understand what you're triggering on top of. So you can pull the PDF into the context windows of the model, actually have a better understanding of like what's going on, and ask questions. So for this one, how do I turn? So as you can see, I cannot turn the toast. How do I turn uh, the toast mode on? Right. And so again, Gemini is contextualizing the answer with the PDF I'm actually sharing here. So we have like a couple of examples of how to do that. So you can see like you have like a contract with the lender. You have like a very complex PDF and you want to get to the essence of it. You can now actually use like the Gemini overlay to get to the So you're really putting AI more embedded into Android. That's what we're trying to achieve.